हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई थिंक यू नो मी एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑन द ई लर्निंग क्लासेस फॉर क्लास फोर होप यू आर स्टेइंग एट होम यू आर वेल एंड योर फैमिली इज ऑल्सो वेल नाउ टू ओवरकम योर बोर्डम टू ओवरकम योर बोर्डम वी विल रीड और वी विल जस्ट स्टार्ट आवर मैथ्स क्लियर so for class 3 we have two books as you know you have also got the two books one is our ncert book this one that is math magic this is the ncert book which will be following through the whole curriculum for this year for class 4 now second book is the private publication book that is the composite mathematics for class 4 for this two books you will you have to follow this two books through the whole syllabus okay now let's start the first chapter for maths for the first chapter it is the building with bricks the first chapter of your textbook that is the maths magic book is building with bricks as the chapter name building with bricks it denotes about the patterns means uh, you have seen different types of buildings or different types of monuments or different types of patterns in this in this um, chapter we are going to read about the patterns as the introduction part is given in your book about a school that is jagriti school in mushidabad there they have given different pictures as you can see this is uh, the pictures of different places in jagriti school which is in mushidabad here you can see the different patterns are given of the bricks they are following in their school okay in this pattern or in this book you can see there are uh, different patterns of the bricks given and there are some questions also given for according or for the related to the pattern of the bricks suppose which pattern is made in a circle as you can see in page number 3 this is the first question now today your first activity is you have to answer this that which pattern is made in a circle you will just write either it is a or b or c or d or like this whatever pictures are given you have to see which one is given in the circular pattern and you will write the figure number that means if it is figure j you will write figure j clear figure j is given in the circular form now second is question is given in which pattern can you show the mirror halves draw a line now mirror half mirror half means suppose you are standing in front of a mirror what you will see you will see the same picture of yourself so that is called the mirror half clear suppose i have uh, two palms when i am keeping this two palms together this is the mirror half of the palm clear now similarly the second question in which pattern can you show mirror halves same way you will write the answer from this book that which figure has the same mirror halves now third question now you draw some new floor patterns and uh, this is just a simple activity you can draw in your drawing book also that uh, different types of patterns you imagine and you try to draw in your drawing book drawing copy rather drawing copy okay now one more thing i want to say you from this first chapter from this pattern chapter you can recognize the different shapes also different shapes here it is given the bricks okay as you know brick is a cuboid so you can you are coming front of different shapes of the cuboid or different faces of the cuboid or different edges or the different corners of a cuboid now just see in page number 4 in page number 4 there are two pictures given of a same brick one brick it is given the side view of a brick okay in that side view you can see there are three faces shown just i am showing you this one is the page okay uh, page number 4 this one the first picture here you can see there are three faces of a brick clear similarly the same brick but in the second picture you can see only one faces that is the front face okay so you have to answer it 
answer some questions here some questions are how many faces in all does a brick have you have to answer how many faces does a brick have now just uh, see i am drawing a brick over the board this is a brick since you know brick is a rectangular form or rectangular type you can another you can say also that this is a cuboid a brick is in the form of a cuboid okay all the faces are rectangular faces in a brick now here you can see that there are how many faces for a brick here you can see that there are six faces of a brick clear um i i will give you some more example for a brick uh, for a cuboid suppose you all have seen a match box match box you know in every home we are using match box to light up the candle or to light up the diyas like this okay so the match box it is a very true example of cuboid similarly there are some more examples like a book which you are reading your maths book then next comes an uh, almira which you have in your home next comes a wooden box that is also a example of cuboid okay so these cuboid they all have six faces six faces we have in a cuboid same as it is given in your book in your book the example is given for bricks bricks it has also the same it is a rectangular brick the same thing that we have six faces in a brick okay six rectangular faces rather not simple faces it is six rectangular faces similarly we have 12 edges and eight vertices for a cuboid what i have told for cuboid faces first of all faces there are six faces for a cuboid as i have shown you or you know you will see a brick and you will understand for a brick we have six faces okay now edges edges means 1 to 12 means uh, the line segments how many line segments or how many edges we have we have 12 edges in a cuboid okay uh, cuboid just remember it for cuboid six faces 12 edges now comes the vertices vertices is where the edges are being joined okay now vertices vertices in the sense you can see say the corners also these are the corners of a cuboid or a brick for this we have eight vertices next is vertices there are eight vertices for a cuboid okay so what we have learned today for a cuboid or for a brick example is for a brick at as it is given in your book that a cuboid it has six faces it has 12 edges and it has eight vertices clear now for for your homework or this um, as you will go through your textbook i will say that do it for page number 4 just go through it page number 4 and in page number 4 there are two questions i will show you these two questions these two questions try at home clear these two questions try at home and uh, my request to the guardian is that kindly you stay with your kid and when you are when they are learning this book just stay with your kid and try to understand only about one dimensional figure one 3d figure that is the cuboid okay and uh, tomorrow we will do some more examples of cuboid and next we will do the cube okay so just homework is that go through the book try to read or try to complete this book and tomorrow i will say you the answer so okay but go through the book and try to read the book and understand the book if you have any problem just write over there and ask to me and secondly follow the composite mathematics book also in mathematics book you will read chapter number 16 it is dealing three dimensional shapes for this three dimensional shapes you do only one shape that is the cuboid and next shapes we will discuss tomorrow clear okay thank you all of you and be safe 
Stay healthy and maintain the social distancing. Thank you all of you.